All right, welcome back, everybody, uh, here on you on Twitch. There we go, and then on YouTube in the future. See, so definitely didn't stumble there at all. For another edition of Mardu Angels, I haven't played this deck in a little while. It's been basically a week, which has probably been too long. Um, we've done really well with this deck basically all the times we've played it. Um, I think we've we've gotten five wins through our league every single time, except for one one time we got got a three two. Um, so. I probably should be playing this deck more, but we're going to try it out today. Um, again, we are really a proactive deck here, as you can tell, just with all these creatures. History Benali is basically a creature, like, let's be real. But all, all these creatures, we're just a, a proactive deck that just kind of goes um, over the top, like, literally, with the flying over the top of the opponents. And um, that's what we're trying to do. So uh, decks that... Um, our, our worst matchup, as we were talking about before, is like probably like Nexus, like the combo deck. We don't really stop the combo deck here with these colors, but we have we have a good uh, we have like the ability to uh, interact with combat really well. Like we have a lot of good defensive creatures, um, and so like d decks that are attacking, we're usually pretty good against. Um, but decks that just use like that uh, like combo decks or decks that don't attack at all, those are our hard matchups. So like. Uh, even Esper Control is kind of tough as well. But let's uh, let's get to it. Let's play some Mardu Angels. Can't wait for that Seraph of the Scales animation. It's so good. It is so, so good. Yeah, Angel decks are fun. We need more duress. Well, we can only play four, and that's that's how many we have. We could have, I don't know, like some drill bits or something else like that. Takali Honor Guard is kind of a new card for the deck. I was playing a Danto Vanguards before. The one time we went 3-2 was the one time we had Takali Honor Guard. I don't think there's too much of a correlation there. Just That's just kind of ha how it uh, happened. <laughs> Zerf, did you see the the um, the Jun deck we played earlier? It felt pretty good. You know, we we won all of our games, so that's that's something that's good. So our opponent is doing some life gain stuff. Hmm. Coil plus Tithe Taker or Aurelia. We'll go Coil and Tithe Taker. Uh, Cesar, you're at work. You missed it too. Yeah, I I do have it up on YouTube already. The Jun deck is, is already up there. But of course, I so you can have it up on another another screen. There you go. Keep the stream up. Yeah, Ravager Worm. I agree. Ravager Worm has the best RNA animation. Agree. No, I don't think Tithe Taker is a knight. Uh, human soldier. Boom, 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 boom. So much damage. That history banalia. Pretty good card. That makes it easy. I was like sitting there, uh, you know, thinking about, hmm, what should I attack with? I'm like, you know, what's going to happen here? I'm get getting the. Uh, 
the four color Gates Mill list up on YouTube, and then our opponent's like, nah, I'm dead. And then I was like, oh, that's easy. All right, so we got Deafening Clarion and Settle the Wreckage. Those should both be fine to just fine for us. I don't really know what to take out. I guess I take out the Contempt. And... Hey, bonus donation from J-Jack. And thanks so much, J-Jack. Saying, uh, nice 5-0 with my deck. You played very well. If you didn't know, if you didn't know, J the the John Midrange we played earlier was Jax. Um, I'm excited that we got a 5-0, and the small changes made a big difference. Keep up your amazing stream. Thank you for everything. Ah, really kind. Thanks, Jax. Yeah, there's some emo hype for that. All right, so this is 64. Uh, all these cards are good though. Um. Maybe I just take out History Banalia. It's kind of weird. Just makes a couple 2-2s. Two I think mean, it's either that or Honor Guard, but I, I kind of like how Honor Guard is out right away on turn. On turn 2. I, I don't want to like cut a 2-drop. Yeah, Seraph could be a card here too. I don't know. Seraph's, Seraph's you know good at blocking, makes some other one ones, and I just like all the angels because Lyra gives all those angels life link. So like having as many angels as possible. This hand is pretty perfect. Clarion on turn three, and then we get to follow it up with Seraph Lyra. It's like kind of exactly what we want. All right, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and coil this Pride Mate though. Yeah. I'm just gonna be safe. I don't want like some them to play something and it gets like out of deafening Clarion and Lava Coil range. Uh, just gonna go ahead and be safe and just, you know, like our opponent doesn't have tons of cards. Like we can, we can afford to use removal one for one. This one's pretty over. Four color gates mill is uploading really quickly. All right, so I had kind of an easy one for our first match here. Um, that's the thing about these Angels decks, is they are really, really good against, especially the Smardu version with Deafening Clarion. We're really good against the aggro decks. And it's just showing here. Our opponent, you know, getting stuck on two lands and us having, like, a perfect curve of Coil, Clarion, Seraph, Dawnbringer. Of course, that didn't hurt. All right, they're still in it. They're still in it-ish. That's kind of my fault. I could have played the Tithe Taker. I was too overconfident. Could have just played Tithe Taker, then they can't seal away. And then, like, the game's really over. <laughs> I, need a I need a shame concede now for that. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, I mean, the Lyra would have already done 10 damage. We would have had lethal by now if I would have just played the, t the Tithe Taker first.
Yeah, they're a life gain deck. Um, with playing a Johnny's Pride Mates. It's pretty common to see a Johnny's Welcome there. Uh, no, I don't think it, it doesn't make a, I don't know, seal away doesn't seem like a card you'd really want in mono white aggro because you're trying to attack your opponent a bunch, so you don't really want a card where it's only good if your opponent is attacking you kind of thing. Does it? No, so yeah, seal away doesn't usually make a lot of sense in their, in their deck, but... Okay, one ando. We can just play against that all the whole time. We'll be doing pretty good. Yeah, good start, good start. Alright, what else do we have? So we have Bant Values, our other deck, for today. The Techstar. Did we just play against Techstar? I feel like I played against Techstar recently. Like, this name looks familiar, at least. I guess I should say that. The name looks familiar. Another good curve. And the good thing about playing 26 lands is I'm not too worried about um, us getting stuck on lands here. Ooh, mirror match. Mirror match. Esper Honor Guard. Interesting. This has to be Esper Angels. It's gotta be. Love our Tithe Taker eating a Mortify. Absolutely love that. You know, so that Resplendent Angel doesn't eat Mortify. I think we got this game. Cool, you've been playing the Esper Midrange lately? Yeah, I, I think Esper Midrange is pretty good, but I there's some of the cards that I don't really like in it. Honestly, I'm not a fan of like Hero Precinct 1. Whoa. Okay. Not expected. I mean, I guess, I guess my Esper Angel d deck has all of these cards. So I guess that's the thing. It's like a, a mid-range deck. It's not not necessarily a control deck. They just have they have a good amount of removal. I should play the land here, 
Because the land, the land, I should just play my land immediately because the land turns on uh, Arch of Arazka. Where, you know, now, now it doesn't really matter. We have the Lyra. But if, like, I wasn't going to just spend the six mana to uh, activate. Um, to activate Arch of Arazka, or to activate Resplendent Angel because they would likely be waiting for me to do that before using a removal spell, so I would have wanted to just pass the turn and have Arch of Araska available. And I want to wait because of Thought Erasure. Yeah, I think our, our, I think our opponent's just playing our Esper Angel deck. All these cards are in my Esper Angel deck. I think maybe that's where I recognize the text star name from, from chat. No, I'm not, I'm not saying Techstar is, is stream sniping, but I think they're just here in, in chat, you know, a decent amount and stuff. I still don't think Techstar is ghosting. Yeah, so Techstar is here in the chat, but probably just has like the stream pause. With, with, uh. That'd be my assumption. Second Lyra for them. It's gonna be tough to deal with. I don't have as much removal as they do. Um, oh, so, so Kitties was wrong there. So they're not in the viewer list. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I love Saros animations. Have any removal in my deck? Doesn't seem like it. I don't have any Immortal Sons main. Texcar could have some Immortal Sons. Last time I played Esper Angels, we had Immortal Sons in the main deck, so. Yep. Uh, that just got the ser Seraph above Lava Coil now. Okay, there we go. That's that's a great draw. We did it. All right, now they're getting to draw two cards a turn. Ah, third Lyra. 
So I have two other spells that kill Lyra now. Time, time to wait for tomorrow. So we have one other Mortify and one Contempt. That's like our only ways to kill Lyra. It only seems like a Kaya's Wrath here. Weird. I guess they I guess he didn't want to use the wrath yet. Alright, we need our own immortal sons. So honor guard's gonna come on out. Mortal Sun Theater. We really won because of Archer Verazka. Basically, I think our opponent just kind of made a mistake with that attack. You know, like, I think, so they had, they probably had Kaya's Wrath, and they were kind of maybe making, like, expecting me to make some kind of block that the Kaya's Wrath would be better. But honestly, the Lyra just shuts everything off, so they don't, they don't even need to Kaya's Wrath there. I think they just sit back with their Immortal Sun. Um... I, I like Settle, kind of... You know, he's he's got, like, a bunch of Thought Erasures, which I, if they see Settle, it's easier to play around. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the two Settles and the two, um, and two Duresses, because I don't think Tithe Taker uh, matters too much. So why do some Angel lists have Angel of Grace and others don't? Angel of Grace is... It's a good card. The problem is... Is it costs 5 mana. So you don't want to have your deck filled with 5 mana cards. And you already have Lyra Dawnbringer that you certainly want uh, in Angel's decks. Um, so it's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to be playing a bunch of Angel of Graces also. Um... But so some some people like the card enough to play it, other people don't. Other people don't like it as much and don't play it. That's kind of why you you just see a varying amount of Angel of Graces. Alright, so our opponent got rid of the Lava Coil. Not expecting Thief of Sanity in this matchup that's filled with... A matchup filled with flyers like this. I'm actually kind of pretty surprised that Techstar brought in the Thief of Sanity's here. Uh, you know, it's working out okay for them in this slot. It's working out just fine.
guess the game's not over. We have to draw a land, though. You know, in these lands, not good. Templar, thanks for the resub there for the third month. Thank you so much, Templar. Sub, uh, storm count 12. Okay, I guess I was a little off on the storm count. Storm count 12 on the day. We have 26 lands in the deck. We have lots of lands. Thief hit double land to get rid of both times, which was rough. Drew land. That's awesome. So really it has trample. We gotta get another land for Angel of Grace here. That's that's kind of good for us that our opponent's playing Immortal Sun here. That means that we're going to be able to land Lyra. And gain life back. Or maybe I just... Hmm. Do I just trade with Eva Sanity? No. So this is still going to deal combat damage. It just... So they still get the trigger. So I'm putting myself dead to a removal spell. I think it's worth it though. I mean, I think this is how we can win. You know, not playing, not trying to play to not lose. I think this is how we can win is with like this line. So even though we're putting ourselves dead to a removal spell. I'm glad our opponent still has that card. That card doesn't do anything. That doesn't look like a removal spell. I kind of feel like this other card that they have of ours is oh that's that's a killer though i feel like that other spell they have of ours is um is just a land that should not be in the matchup at all
So our opponent can trade Liras. Never mind, they had to respond to Nasal Bars. Doesn't look good for us, okay? See how our opponent, how worried our opponent is of Settle the Wreckage. Alright, we get to be on the play. Let me get rid of History Banalia here on the... Even though we're on the play. It doesn't feel like History Banalia matters too much. So just gonna go, go ahead and just put in some more duresses. I suppose, and then just a, a couple Tithe Takers. Something a little cheaper to play. Crap, it's only the turn it enters. Yeah, no, you can't, um... You can't win with, uh... Angel of Grace over and over. Techstar, why are you saying good game? What? Why? Yeah, probably something. Probably something IRL came up and they had to had to leave. That's probably what happened. I I don't think our opponent kept a zero lander. That's you know that I don't think that happened. It's probably something just. Um, probably something IRL came up and they had to go. Hey Techstar, oh you, you just respectively conceded. Oh, we could have played the could have played the third game. We had a couple of good games there. Nah, okay. Yeah, so you're playing. So how you like how are you liking the Esper Angels deck? Yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. That you had the the stream turned off for that. Some other people in chat didn't think so, but I thought so. 
Uh, which angel deck do you like the most? It's between this and the Esper Angels. These are my two favorites. Um, I think that it's certainly possible that I have too many creatures and not enough like interaction in this version, and I probably have too much interaction and not enough creatures in the Esper version. But. Those are possibilities. Okay. Texter says I played a lot of the Mardu before trying Esper and I've enjoyed the Esper more. We just did we did really bad with Esper the other day against Esper Control. Even though I don't think necessarily our Esper Control matchup is so bad, but we we just lost a bunch and it was really disheartening. Disheartening. Hey okay. Hawkeye. I haven't made an Esper quasi duplicate deck yet, no. Jun, 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 jun. I didn't like Abzan Angels. I don't know. The Abzan Angels deck I made had like the explore package and everything in it. And I I just felt like I was a worse Soul Tie deck at that point. Yeah, words like Esper and Mardu refer to the color combinations. Um, Mardu here is means red, black, and white. Esper is blue, black, and white. Man, they have enough spells in their graveyard to be able to adapt for one mana. Double coil, spell pierce, op, charter course. Beacon Bolt was the worst possible scenario. Basically, the only bad scenario for us was them having Beacon Bolt. But they didn't have Beacon Bolt. Like, even if they just had, like, Dive Down to, like, save their Terramander through a Lyra attack, we could have, like, attacked with Lyra next turn and, like, gained five and then gone Resplendent Angel, Resplendent Angel. Steve hey Hawkeye <laughs> I guess I guess that's true mass manipulation was like worst case scenario but realistic worst case scenario I suppose all right yeah our opponents already used like two lava coils. No, no play crafters in the sideboard. Those would certainly be nice. That worked. Gain five, get a couple angels. They kept both on top. 
Ah, Crackling Drake. Into something. What is a good card to put in the multicolor gate deck that can clear Ixalan's binding? Uh, Cinder Vines? Or Crushing Canopy? I think those are the top two that I'd recommend. Alright, so against Drake's, we're going to need more removal. So I guess we got these settles for that. And we'll have some duresses. Um, Honor Guard is going to come on out. And then Tithe Taker kind of mess with. Uh, and then I'm going to cut two Aurelias. Aurelia doesn't block well at all. And I think I need to take out a couple four drops. Um, you know, I, I can't have like that much expensive stuff, I don't think. Um, yeah, so Aurelia just doesn't block anything. And, uh, so yeah, it really is a good card to cut here. Yeah, Tibby. Yep, the Judd Midrange is up there on Stream Decker. Absolutely. They're all on there. And the, the John Midrange list, the John Midrange video, and the Four Color Gates Mill, they're both already up on YouTube as well um i'm just gonna wait we're gonna give them more opportunity to find like lava coil like i, I could duress here and try to take like a a uh like a the charter course just gonna wait though wait a turn all right, Disdainful Stroke and Shock. So, Disdainful Stroke, gone. We have a lot of three drops that we can be drawn into here. I do not skip her. I don't know. Alright, so expecting Crackling Drake, yep. And we could start playing our Seraph at the scales. Tad late there, Banalia. Punch uh, is gonna do this after every spell again. Let's go ahead and mute him. I guess if they have another disdainful stroke here, that would have been a, that's kind of a bad attack. Even like a lava coil is kind of messy for us. I know I could gave vigilance with that, but I like having the death touch option available, so that like dive down can't save their creature. Did you, Tyler? Did you try the? 
Did you try much of um of the Bant Flash deck? I like that deck quite a bit. Like I said last time. Uh, we're in a league right now. Yeah, our opponent's kind of draking all over the place. So many drakes. You loved it? Dude, heck yeah. Yeah, you should play that. That's good. Lava Coil is brutal. Um, I can go to nine. That's not gonna save me. Yep, just keep it the same. I'm gonna try not to draw nine lands this time. Here we go. More lava coils. Are there too many lava coils against Drakes? No such thing as too many against Drakes. That's what I that's what I'm kinda of feeling too. Like they have like twelve threats in their deck. So if you have removal for those twelve things, then you win, right? I think that's how that math sounds like it checks out. Of course, the longer the game goes, the better the drakes are, the individual drakes are. Better chance that they are, um, you know, it's like the more power they'll have with like the more spells in their graveyard kind of thing. that out of here. Hear me, Crackling Drake? Get on out of here. Yeah, the Drake decks have always been playing Bacon Bolt. Our, our, yeah, game one our opponent had Bacon Bolt. But I don't think they've ever not had Bacon Bolt. They're like the one deck that has it. I like Bant Flash more than Soul Tide Midrange myself. Here comes Disdainful Stroke. Electro Dominance. Hmm. With nothing in after it. 
She has the removal there. Yeah, they could have, like, played it. Like, that would have been a good place to have Disdainful Stroke also. Like, Dominance into Disdainful Stroke. Kind of thing. Hey, <laughs> Crazy Pyro with the $21.99 donation. All right, got a deck for a change. Love it. All right, when do you want me to play this, Crazy Pyro? Teamer Vanifar. Nice. Love it. I've been wanting to play a Teamer Vanifar deck. So you have come to the right spot for a team or Vanifar deck. It looks pretty sweet too. Whenever. Alright. Alright, so I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll do it tomorrow. Um, I guess maybe around this time, maybe like third tomorrow. Time of Ice. Tap target creature and opponent controls. It doesn't untap for as long as you control Time of Ice. And then return target tapped creature to its owner's hand. All right. Every problem has a solution. <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> I've never seen that card in play either. Ral's going to be a, a problem for us. This is an opponent that knows about Settle the Wreckage. Ooh, let's see what we got. Kind of makes sense for how much our opponent has been emoting that they have been watching. So the problem with playing Lyra here is that Lyra dies to Ral. No, I don't have the city's blessing, so I can't I can't activate Arch of Arazka. It's so like if I, I play Lyra, they just minus. They just minus their Ral to kill it. Huh. No, alright, so. So why didn't our opponent attack with the Enigma Drake last turn? Like, what were they. What do they want the the Enigma Drake to block the Tithe Taker, I guess? Like why why not attack with it last turn? They had like the they had like their other five five they could protect Rao. I guess maybe they couldn't make it a I guess they couldn't make it a five five. I guess they didn't want to block with the Terramander being a 1-1. One, one. So yeah, I guess they want to protect Ral. Hmm. Alright, can we beat a Ral ultimate? <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from.
Probably not. My plan to keep all these lava coils. Certainly not good against a Ral. Hey, Pedro. All right, two and one. That's cer certainly a problem with my 75 here as Planeswalkers. Um, you know, usually if I'm expecting Planeswalkers from them, uh, I have like the spy glasses in the sideboard and Mortal Sun, all that kind of stuff. So I have like other stuff in the sideboard for Planeswalkers, but honestly, I was not really expecting Ral. Um, maybe I should be there. Uh, they certainly can play Ral and sometimes have it in their deck, but it's not a card I was prepared for. And Ral killed us. I wish we were on the play with this hand. It's a good curve. I have I have a contempt. So like I I still had you know I had like one con I had one contempt but it's just not not many contempts you know it's just one. We lost to Is it Drakes with a uh, Ral Is it Viceroy. The um. The cards they got from Ral and then the Ral ultimate has got us. I don't feel like Lava Coil is the like the best turn for us right now. Um, I want to be able to double spell with like Lava Coil and Resplendent Angel on turn five. So we're gonna I'm just gonna play the history and get this going. And then Oh uh, I love that. That's fine. Yeah, binding that thing and don't don't binding any of our cool angels. Of course our opponent doesn't may not know that we're gonna have like cool angels coming up. I mean I'd assume they don't realize that I could see our opponent blocking with Lana Warolf. I'm not sure if they will, but I wouldn't be too surprised. Okay. Yeah, they're blocking. Or or not. All right, so they're down to 10. They've had a, a few shock lands here. It's helped us out. Whoa. ETB, draw a card. And mana of any color. Okay. Ooh. It's really tempting to play the Lyra there. Aw, Crazy Pyro. Getting that gift sub in here. Thank you kindly. Alright, so that goes to Tigga. So Tigga, enjoy the awesome emotes. You can use the hype boats in the chat. There we go. Psygorhythm. 
Howdy. All right, sub number 13 on the day. Uh, it's still telling me 89 for now, so we must have went down one. Uh, Lyra. Lyra, Lyra. Oh, right. Aurelia gets the, the plus one, plus zero, so Aurelia gets to be... Gets to be bigger than than uh, Lyra. Never mind, so that's perfect for us. <laughs> All right, match number two. Hmm. I'm not playing any um, disenchant effects, really, for, like, Ixalan's binding. That could certainly be a problem. Siger them says, oh, and Siger them getting that gifted sub also. Made an interesting graveyard deck, turning all the tokens generated with graves and uh, tomb into 4-4 angels with divine visitation. But I need a good draw engine for it. Um, what about... I mean, it's it's uh, a cheap card, but what about revitalize? You only get one. You only get to draw one card, but revitalize uh, is you know two mana cantrip, gain three life. That's an option. Um, besides that, Argyle's Bloodfast uh, as an option. We didn't see honor. We didn't see anything that honor guard would really do. I'm not sure if Clarion's really too necessary. I don't know. I, I just don't really want honor guard, so I'm gonna play. I guess I'm gonna play one Clarion and one Immortal Sun and go with the two settles. Hey, what's up, Max? Good match. That that rail really got me. I was not expecting that rail. Uh, do you think blood divination would be an acceptable source? Blood divination. What does that card do again? Oh, uh, Liliana's contract. Yeah, I, I would rather play Liliana's Contract than Blood Divination. You know, you lose four life, but it's five mana draw four. It is a lot of cards. But I guess if you have if you have a good amount of tokens, and you know, I, I don't know how many tokens you you really generate. If you generate enough tokens where you really don't mind sacking one, then then that can certainly be. Then then I like Blood Divination. Good job, Matthew. 3-1. Good job. I haven't seen anybody try to win with Liliana's contract. All right, here we go. Ooh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. That's a good card, K-Panic. Priest of Forgotten Gods is just a really good card. Um, yeah, I like that suggestion quite a bit. Because if you have, if you are making tokens, you know, you can sack two tokens, make them sack a creature, you draw a card. Priest is just a great card. You really want to see a mnemonic betrayal deck? 
I think there could be a mnemonic betrayal deck. I think it could be a little underrated. I don't know if uh, Kaya the Super is really the best way to be using Mnemonic Betrayal. I can't coil Lyra. And coil Aurelia. Well, I'm I'm glad they're blocking the Tithe Taker and that we get to get the token. We need to draw land there to get towards Immortal Sun. Like we really did, but we we at least have another turn now that we have like this extra token to be able to chump block with. Because we need, like, if we get to six mana and get to play Immortal Sun, then Aurelia is going to be a 3-6. So Aurelia can at least check the Lyra. But, you know, that also just, like, is kind of, like, hoping that our opponent doesn't have any other removal or anything. I could have saved the other Lava Coil, I guess, and been able to have two Lava Coils for Dawnbringer. But I, th I think we were dead the previous turn if we didn't do anything. All right, Dark Phoenix. All is well here. Have a have a good night here, kicking kicking your feet up after the long hard day at work. I think you should check out. Um, ugh. That's honestly not that bad for us again. Yet again, we have a. token to chump block with. I think you should try some maybe crazy pyro you can have some the the Bant Flash deck. I really like that deck. There you go, Seth. The cell, the wreckage is perfect. We need removal for Lyra. Finally found some removal for Lyra. Crazy Pyro still going with the gift sub. Thank you so much. And Pella Falco, enjoy the awesome emotes. Enjoy the hype boats. Love it. All right, I'm a little behind. Looks like we're at 86 here and 15. Ooh, pack time.
<laughs> Alright, what pack are we going to be opening up here after this match? Let's do a poll. You get to vote for 60 seconds. Alright, two nails, have a good night. Alright, do you want M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan? So you got 60 seconds to vote. We're... The, the next... Like, I'm getting kind of close to having uh, Dominaria finished up. Oh, King Simon has a question for the chat. Esper midrange or control? Oh, no! Got super punished for using... Uh, super punished for using... Um... My lava coil on that... On the, uh... On the Knight of Autumn. I didn't want to, like, trade my Angel of Grace with Knight of Autumn. Alright, so we're opening a Dominaria pack. Yeah, it won't, won't be too much longer where Dominaria won't really be an option. Uh, we'll have all the rares from Dominaria. <laughs> our opponent's scared to attack because of our settle the wreckage earlier. Yeah, we had Settle earlier, uh, a couple turns ago, so they're kind of scared to attack here. Don't like that land war elf. The land war elf is lethal. Now two. Maybe I should have just had Seraph block the Phoenix. Uh, should have just had Seraph block the Phoenix earlier and just get an extra chump blockers. I just played a Mortal Sun last turn instead of the Angel of Grace. Kind of playing the same deck almost. I have one duress instead of the one Clarion. No, with Lava Coil exiles the Seraph, so we don't get any afterlife tokens. That is true. Ethereal Absolution would be good in this matchup, but I don't want to play Ethereal Absolution. Um, I, like, I, d I just don't want it really in the deck, even though it would be good in this specific matchup. It just costs so much mana. And, like, it's only good... You know, like, if they're just... You know, if they're like a head on, like if they have like a bunch of angels and everything and I just have an ethereal absolution, I'm going to lose. So like I have to have like board parity with them first and then ethereal absolution. Hey, Arborcrypt getting that sub from Crazy Pyro. Crazy Pyro going nuts. 
Lava it down to 85 and 16. Thank you so much, Crazy Pyro. Yeah, and so I just like a, a Mortal Sun more than Ethereal Absolution. Yeah, Crazy Pyro's been around the whole time. Thank you so much. What is going on here? Do we, do we just have another disconnected opponent? We like... This is like the third time we're going to win today because of a disconnected opponent. Or like a... Yeah, you know, like where we don't play a game. It's been a weird day. Weird day. Oh, you're having the same issue too, Wolfmaster? Maybe it is Arena. Maybe Arena is just kind of... Huh, and Sarah said that they they you had four people concede back to back. Yeah, concede before mulligans. Hmm. Oh, I, I forgot about that Kalua King. Oh, maybe maybe it's an arena issue today or something. Sarah Finniert, thank you so much for the support. Glad you're here. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime sub here. I really do appreciate that. All right, so let's get a pack of Dominaria um, from getting to our last sub goal. Pack time, Dominaria. And let's see what we got. Hey, Swift Calf. Leaves have been leaks have been going pretty good. We didn't do well with the four color gate deck. Hey, Lich's Mastery. Um, with the the mill deck. Um, didn't do well with that one, but besides that, uh, you know, besides that deck, eight and one on the day, but as, as I was just saying in chat, we've, we've won like three matches at a, around that today, uh, where we haven't like done anything, the game we won kind of thing. Oh, well, thank you, Seraph. Always sub to them, GG streamers. Well, thank you. Whoa, Tyler, are you serious? You ordered one Mythic Edition box and then Wizard sent you an entire case? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think I would, I would have every card in Arena if, if they would have had like the, like what they have now with like how you cannot open up fourth copies anymore, because um, we, we've opened. Just tons and tons and tons of fourth copies of cards uh, before. Uh, but but now we're getting the collection a whole lot faster. Hey, Robbie. And Swift Calf getting that gifted stuff from Crazy Pyro. <laughs> Thank you so much, Crazy Pyro. We do have a whole lot of white mana in the deck, but I don't think I'm comfortable keeping that hand. I'll keep the land. It happened to 600 order numbers. So 600 different people that ordered boxes got cases instead. Should have, should have played in. I was thinking I was just gonna put a tap land in, but I forgot about the Tithe Taker there for a second. 
Paid two life. Aw, oh, thanks, Swiftcaft. Swiftcaft, get those hype boats out. For Crazy Pyro. Alright, completely regret keeping the land on top now that we have all these other lands. As for control is gonna be tough, game one. Yeah, our our deck is is uh, just mana intensive. Um, where the biggest way I usually lose games is not having enough lands, and so I liked I liked having the fourth land there, um, because we I really want to hit six lands. Like I want to hit my first six land drops in this deck, kind of in general. Uh, we need because to of like quickly. Resplendent Angel. And even though like our curve kind of stops at five, we want to have more lands where we can be double spelling and things like that. Um, you know, it's it's not working out keeping that land, but this is if I knew I was playing against Esper Control, for example, I would have put it on the bottom, because Esper Control means the game's gonna go a lot longer, so um a lot better chance that we draw lands kind of thing. You know, obviously I didn't know that we were playing against Esper Control. So this is a matchup where I would not have wanted to keep that. But if we're playing against, you know, aggro or mid-range decks, I want to make sure I hit it, especially my especially my fifth and even sixth land drop so no I can play on curve with Lyra's and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Hawkeye is. Ah, gotcha. Whoever did the shipping on that eBay, they didn't know it was two boxes per box. That makes sense. I did play around Syncopate for one, big print. I have a Tithe Taker in play. Tithe Taker says that Syncopate for one would not have worked last turn. No, I haven't seen the life gain deck that kills with re revenge. Um... Settle. I haven't seen that. Um, somebody was talking about that earlier in chat, though. Honestly, I probably just shouldn't even be playing around Settle the Wreckage, because I probably just can't even beat Settle the Wreckage just in general. Hold that thought. Like, with with what we have here. Yeah, I'm just never I'm never even gonna beat a sell the wreckage, so I shouldn't even play around it. I should just attack with both creatures. Yeah, I think we should have just played the angel while they're tapped out. I I just can't. I don't have the. I don't have the card advantage to win. This matchup game one. With not like with early Teferi and everything. I won't let you win. The seven card hand that we had with the double history Benali would have been a better keep, than our six card hand. You know what? I'm not done yet. I do like Angel getting countered instead of Seraph. Um, how if I if I would have just played the Angel, I don't know what would have happened. All right, got a bunch of one ones. Mr. Fairy's loyalty is four. That's a not a good number of loyalty. Should have attacked for two before this could be maybe killing Teferi. You want me to phase you out of time? Gates Mill deck didn't feel too good. Um Yeah, it didn't seem like it was too good. We got we got uh mono redded quite hard. Uh, a couple of times. 
All right. Gotta have our sideboard. Still not a very good match for us. With Mardu Angels this is not what we want to face. Ugh. What if Mildex were tier one? What if like you have to be worried about your your deck getting milled like every single game? I don't, I don't usually like just casting duress on turn one, but that I do want to go tithe taker into theater. You know, like I want to play on curve here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and and do it. And so we'll take the mortify because mortify destroys theater. With with me having tithe taker, they're not gonna be able to negate on turn three. Because tithe taker is awesome. No, Thought Erasure. No. Uh, and we're dead. I mean, it's possible our opponent doesn't have any lands. I suppose that's possible. Looks kind of likely now. They don't have lands. The they didn't play a land last turn, so that's kind of my my giveaway there. Hey, track team. So I guess if our opponent doesn't ever have any lands, we just kind of kill them. And obviously, I'm not going to play Immortal Sun. Into the negate, you know, make them tap their mana to answer these creatures, and then whenever they do that, then we immortal, then we cast Immortal Sun. Yeah, looks like we're gonna win this. They just, they got pretty unfortunate, never drawn land. No, I wasn't even going to let them negate theater. Honestly, like where we were at in the game, uh, we just don't need to ever let them use that negate. Like they, they would have to answer like those creatures eventually. So we'll be able to, we were going to be able to resolve it eventually. All right, game three. This is a keep. Use some more card advantage, but you know we're not shipping this hand. I am going to be duressing on turn one because I do like duressing before my opponent's turn two. I like duressing on turn one on the draw more because their turn two is when they can have search for Scanta. Uh, you know, Thought Erasure, a lot of stuff like that, but especially as Kanta. Alright, no as Kanta. So we'll take Perception. And then my Spyglass can name Teferi. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I'm going to Spyglass to Fairy. Then I guess I take a Contempt. Yeah, I kind of hate all their cards too. <laughs> kind of hate all their cards too. They can't cast any of their cards unless they get more mana. That's like the good news. So hopefully they don't hit a land drop here. Alright, so we get to resolve Seraph. They, of course, have a contempt for it. Yeah, Tithe Taker means they can't absorb. Ooh, no land drop? Oh, right, now they can, they can absorb now, though. Oh, that was a that was a bad duress. This is, yeah, now they just get to absorb. Just let them cast that absorb. I was just just saying, just saying that they could have because responding to that comment like, oh yeah, they they can't cast absorb because of tithe taker. So oh, I have a duress. They can't absorb. No, tithe taker is dead. They get to absorb. That's a good draw. Oh, y yep, Absorb was a reprint. Uh, the Invasion art and border and everything is really cool. Speaking of good draws, there we go. Attack. So our, our opponent's going to be playing Kaya's Wrath next turn. So I'm going to just end step. They could have like a counter spell here. Um, so I'm not, not going to play Theater Horrors into it. Uh, I'm going to like after the Kaya's Wrath next turn. I'll be playing Unstep Angel of Grace and then untapping in Theater of Horrors. Um, I, for when I started playing, I basically say World Wake. Um, uh, even though I played a little bit whenever I was a kid, and in fact, I, I actually played a little bit during Invasion and had Invasion Absorbs at one point, but... Uh, I didn't really play like seriously or anything like that, you know, just kind of played with friends uh, that would also have like their own decks and everything. Um, I think I went to like an, an FNM or two, you know, maybe like a, maybe like four FNMs, maybe. I don't really remember um, when I was in like middle school, but I really just got into the game playing Magic Online a lot and, and everything uh, in World Wake. So that's what I kind of say is when I started playing. That's when I started playing like standard decks and everything. Well, we're going to have a lot of mana be able to cast this immortal sun. We're going to need 10 mana. Good thing Spyglass is holding down this Teferi for us. Oh, 
All right, we're almost there. One more land. We get to play Immortal Sun. <laughs> yep, she's spying on that Teferi. That's game. We're actually just going to be able to kill our opponent with Theater of Horrors. They're down to two. We can just ping them twice. All right, we beat the Esper Control. We had good, good hands post-board with Duresses and... Yeah, double duress spyglass there was certainly helpful. And then yeah, having Angel of Grace having flash against control was was certainly really good, being able to flash in after like the Kaya's Wrath and and everything. Alright, Mardu Angels 4-1. Time for the final boss. Here we go. Final boss time. Time to get in the zone. Into the <laughs> into the zone, out of the zone. Dun, 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 dun. Not the best of openers for that seven. Didn't necessarily have any lands. Uh, I didn't. I didn't make any tweaks to this list uh, from previous Mardu Angels lists, or from from the last. From the last one we played last week, I didn't didn't change a card. Uh, the only change that we made the last time we played it was adding in Takali Honor Guard over a Danto Vanguard, uh, but I did not uh, didn't change anything besides that today. Oh, if this is if this is Bant Nexus, Bant Nexus is our certainly our worst matchup. This could be Bant, like a Bant Flash deck, though. Which is not as bad for us. I would recommend having more than 22 lands myself in Golgari midrange. I think you want closer to like 24. I think you can go with 23. Yep, certainly looks like Bant Flash. So are they they're missing land drops. I feel like if I play some play something they just get to counter it. Yeah, but instead not playing anything means they just have to discard their counter spell. Getting rewarded for not playing stuff. And that can certainly happen getting flooded three games in a row. You know, it's. I don't. It's a pretty small sample. I wouldn't just take out. Um, take out a land though, just because of that.
Hmm. We're gonna get rid of that wilderness reclamation so they don't actually untap their mana. Um now we can resolve some stuff. So yeah, so they just come to insight before like the uh, untap before they were gonna untap and uh, you know, to use their mana before Wilderness Reclamation. That doesn't do anything. Good job, Kali Honor Guard. Lord Warbear. I'm not going to attack with Resplendent Angel into another seal away. I don't think we need to. Best magic streamer around. Well, thank you so much, Lord Warbear. Thanks for resubbing there for the second month. That gets some hype in the channel. There we go. Get those hype boats up in there. All right, that is sub number 19 on the day. All right, let's try to see if we can contempt this thing. Good news is if our opponent has an Angel of Grace, they want to like keep their, uh, like they want to kind of survive from an Angel of Grace. They're not going to be able to. But they had Absorb, so they, they get to survive still. Yeah, we we did really well, John Midrange. Certainly did. What do you think of Frilled Mystic for Sultai mid-range? Is it okay to have some or better to run Chupacabra Hostage Taker in the four CMC slots? I like Chupacabra Hostage Taker. The thing about Sultai mid-range is you're not you're not like doing other stuff with your mana if you leave Frilled Mystic up too much. Like you don't have other instants to to really do anything with. And so I think that that's that's a, a problem. But I could see it being an option. I don't know if I have other basics. I have one basic. Crazy Pyro still going crazy with the gifted sub. So uh, Frostbite and Skull Collector. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy being subbed. Thank you so much. 
So that gets us to 21 on the day. And it's currently telling me 82 right now for this number. So our opponent has a lot of cards in hand, quite a few. And her Curse of Chat, getting the, a sub as well. All right, hopefully not another Settle the Wreckage. Um, I sideboard in Angrath against, uh, like, removal heavy decks. I also, that, uh, like, so to have another threat, like another sticky threat, that's like usually when you bring in Planeswalkers in general. Um, also bring it in against uh, I like it against the. What is it called? Um, against the Soul Tide decks. I actually like it there. Yeah, against Krasis. Against Krasis decks. Holy Avatar! Getting that gifted sub as well. This hype's always going. And the Barnzo. Uh, they had a negate. Tilt. Barnzo, thanks for resubbing there for the third month in a row. <laughs> I played the, the boss music earlier. Yeah, we're just... It, the song ended though. All right, so we got to gain, got to gain five life. That's exactly what we want. Get another one of these tokens out there. Oh no. Well, I guess the, that answers your question, Parm Regio. Can our could our opponent win if we just didn't attack? Well, I guess that answers the question. They have they have cleansing nova. No, we don't have any cleansing novas. I don't have any I don't have any more enchantment removal in the deck. This is just game one. Game one I only have two mortify. Other games I also only have two mortify. Two settles and a cleansing nova. You show remorse. Pestimism Hurry. getting gifted sub number 25 on the day. So we had two packs to open uh, after this match. Yeah, I have Arch of Araska. Yep, got Arch of Araska. That'd be, if we're drawing lands, that's the land we want. Yeah, I expect our opponent to have a bunch of frilled mystics in hand still. All right, let's see if we can get this games two and three.
Skylight Honor Guard's actually good here, though. Hey, Weedock. Getting that gifted sub. Yeah, you're probably right, Zerath. I'll probably need to reset after this match. Um, hmm. No, no update yet on the new emotes. I know that... Unfortunately, don't don't have any update on those. I know I really want, want some. I really want that final boss emote. And yeah, there's like five emotes that I have written down. Hopefully find out soon. Yeah, gonna do a cat butt emote. Okay, you get to be an emote. You already have emotes. You get even more emotes. Aren't you happy? Yeah, you're so happy. <laughs> right? Yeah, meddling mage would be nice. Hawkeye needs all the emotes. Hawkeye, you just turn full, full control on with your tail. So we'll just go to attackers and see what they want to do. I think I'm just going to keep up Mortify here instead of playing anything else into a counter spell. Keep up Mortify for Wilderness Reclamation. Because I could also see them playing Cleansing Nova. This turn. Yeah, don't have to worry about Frilled Mystic, but they they have tons of absorbs, you know, like they played they play just a bunch of absorbs. No lands? They're just going to discard? Wow. That's pretty big for us. Now we're going to have lots of lands. And they are not going to have lots of lands. So good for us. Hey, DJ Kittner with the gifted sub. Okay. We're still getting this hype going. All right, so they had Wilderness Reclamation. So here comes the Tithe Taker. 
Let's see, we're at... It says 78 and 27. It's a weird time to destroy the enchantment. So they, they couldn't play Negate there because of Tithe Taker. So I, I didn't have to be worried about Negate. Uh, Lyra is really scary. Uh, expect, like if they have another Lyra. We have an answer to the first Lyra, but the second Lyra we're not going to have an answer to. Stop. Stop crushing that canopies. They could have Cleansing Nova, but we'd, we'd still get three tokens if they have a Cleansing Nova here. Gross. They just had... Uh... Had kind of everything they need to have. Yeah, Crushing Canopy is a great card against me. Just flyers and then enchantments also with the, the two theaters. Yeah, we're really far behind now. I don't, I don't really have much more removal for that Lyra, seeing how we'd really struggle against that card. I need the Immortal Sun. That's what I need. The Immortal Sun. Uh, not land number million. Hey, Journeys guy. Welcome back for the second month in a row. Um, what deck would I play this weekend? I would I would honestly play Bant uh, the Bant Flash deck that we played or that I streamed a couple days ago. That's that's the deck I would play. If I was playing this weekend. All right, so number twenty eight on the day. All right, how how close are we to one two three four five six? Yeah, two more lands we need for double Resplendent Angel activation. That only makes for Splendid Angel just a 7-7. So like the Krasis and the Dawnbringer together deal with it. One more land there. What? I'm getting a little skinnier, okay? Yeah, you're welcome. Welcome, Journey's guy. That's a card that we wanted. Um, So we'll force them to have like seal away or settle here. 
I'm expecting them to have Seal Away or Settle, but then they just have to cast it on just their, their Splendid Angel. And they're letting the Lyra gain 5 life first with the first strike damage. Oh no, then they didn't have it. I was certainly expecting them to. Wow. Well, we have a chance now. We got the Lyra. Yeah, or there's, like, where you just regularly subscribe up in the top right-hand corner, uh, there's an option to gift a sub there as well. Okay. Okay, you're in the you're in the way. I need to get to my mouse. Thank you. This is a really bad matchup for us. We got pretty fortunate there. I don't have other like good removal for their Liras. I guess I need to play my own Liras. Over Angel of Grace, I guess. All right, yeah, game three for the final boss. We're still in it. Man. I'm really worried about their Lyras, but I don't... I just can't really beat him. Rather Hawkeye bite the pen than bite me. Um, I think of the five lander. Don't love the hand, but in this matchup where we don't have a, a whole lot of interaction here, uh, land is not what I want to draw. Hoping we draw any of our one and two mana stuff. There we go. Perfect. Now that's a good card to draw. Okay, are we, are we gonna win? Are we gonna win, Hawkeye? No, I've never done laser pointer with Hawkeye. Pen's up here. You wanna go fetch? Fetch. <laughs> He's not very good at fetch. He's just sitting there staring at it. 
Let's try again. Okay. Hey, Pen, go fetch. Good job, okay. Come on back. Come on back. Come on. I gotta keep playing. Let's go. He's just sitting there looking at me. Come on. There you go. Good boy. All right, so they only have one white mana right now. Um, so we don't have to worry about settle. Yep, you did a great job, otherwise, besides the whole bringing the pen back. I do not mind our opponent blocking a Tithe Taker for a Frilled Mystic. I'll take that trade. Now, do I want to just resolve the Angel of Grace now while I can? I think the answer is yes. Welcome to the jungle. Um, we have 10 damage coming in right now. If I can tempt this crisis. I don't think I'm going to contempt the crisis. Uh, whoops. I think I'm, I'm more worried about like a Lyra Dawnbringer here, honestly. So yeah, I'm, I'm too worried of Lyra to contempt crisis. Angel of Grace? I am not going to sit this one out. I mean, they have to tuck Angel of Grace because Tithe Taker means that the mana uh, isn't going to help them. Take a time out. Double Settle. Alright, so we'll take one of the Settles. Um... Yeah, not a whole lot of difference. I don't I don't think using a contempt to save one life is gonna matter. Or like to have them save one life. I guess the big difference though is Shockland. We will if I, again. you know if I attack them down to two, they can't use they can't have a shock land. I guess that's that's a difference. But we of course know just to play around settle. That's like the only thing they can do. If they settle, we play Honor Guard. If they don't settle, then we don't play Honor Guard. We just pass. Not going to play into Absorb. All right, now Honor Guard stops an angel, a potential Angel of Grace that our opponent could draw. Honor Guard would stop that. Hmm. 
All right, Mardu coming back against these control decks after losing the first games. Our sideboard plans of like having a bunch of duresses helped out. Tithe Taker was just really strong in those matches. That's why I like Tithe Taker in the deck. It really messes with the opponent that's trying to play at instant speed. So 5-1, defeated the final boss. There we go. All right, let's claim our prize. All right, 40 gems and 2,100 gold. There we go. So yeah, Mardu Angel still, still doing well, even though I don't have like, you know, a whole lot of interaction for the opponent here. You know, I don't have very many ways to destroy enchantments. Don't have very many ways to um, stop like the combo decks. But, but yeah, we're still still doing well though. Yeah, honestly, I think you can go just Orzov with the angels. I think that's that's certainly an option for you. Um, but yeah, we just kind of kind of keep winning with Mardu Angel. So if you want if you want a deck that beats up on aggro, if you have a whole lot of aggro in your metagame, uh, this is your deck for you. This deck is is very good against aggro with all of these uh, good blockers. Deafening Clarion in the sideboard as well. Um, yeah, this is certainly a good deck against aggro. It's it's not the best against the control decks, but as you can see, we we can win win some games against them, and that's what we did there those last two. So that's Mardu Angels for you. Uh, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are only a little over a hundred YouTube subs away from our next 12-hour stream. We're doing 12-hour stream every 500 YouTube subs. So we're getting close to 1,500 by now. Um, so you can check out the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. So that's where you can find it. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for Mardu Angels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.